And now it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Corey Sandin co-hosting today in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. What a great show we have for you today. Captain Brian Kuyahara, Captain Ray Lopez, and Lori Withy from the American Angler. The entire team is here from the American Angler. You're going to stay, have some real good stuff here on Let's Talk Hookup. Southern California Sport Fishing Voice on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-2255. 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLayanero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. It's Ford Truck Month, San Diego. Time to get up and get into a new Ford F-150. Part of the F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 46 years straight. And here's some big news. There's a great selection of Ford F-150s in stock and ready for delivery today. So visit your San Diego County Ford dealer and see all the fantastic offers on America's best-selling trucks that are available during Truck Month. They'll be glad to hook you up. All right. Good morning. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. And Pete, there's uh, those mornings where I feel honored to be in the studio. Yeah, this is this is one right here, having royalty, oh, fishing on, royalty guys. in yeah. the studio here. <laughs> Three of them for sure. The the management team of the American Angler, uh, Brian, Ray, and Lori. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you guys. And. Uh, I could turn yours on there and make sure that uh, we're, we're good there, Lori. Um, anyway, so American Angler's been uh, doing some serious uh, boat work this this winter, huh? Yeah, we've been hard at it. First off, good morning, Pete and Corey. Yeah, good morning. And pretty much the three of us here is pretty much why we're here, I think, is the three of us. I mean, it's ownership, Lori in the office, me and Ray on the boat, and it's kind of carried over to the to uh, the maintenance side of it as well. You know, me and Ray are constantly running parts, and Lori is doing more than her share of uh, contacting Coast Guard, emailing back and forth, running, helping us get parts, Amazon, that kind of thing. So we've been at it since uh, the beginning, first of the year. Wow. So a complete paint job? 
Not a complete. We're we're painting everything deck deck level up, but we okay. we we did the galley. There's there there's been a lot of battles as you could imagine. You know we can't complain about the weather because we're the ones that decided to do maintenance in January and February. Yeah, and but just, normally you know it's not that much of an issue, but uh, this year it's been an issue. Yeah, we're, we're definitely having a legit. Yeah, winner. yeah, but you know we're blessed where we live. You know, look at all the issues happening all across the, oh my the state and all that. So it, it's like. The last thing that the three of us could do is complain about the weather. Oh, we lost a day to rain. It's just like, yeah. yeah. In the or, big it's, picture, or it's cold. We got to put a jacket on. Yeah, right? it's minute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. wearing flip flops this morning. Come yeah, on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, for sure. And Ray, you've been you you've been involved in the, all this, right? Yeah, just in the mix with uh, obviously Brian and Lori, just making decisions. Yeah. Just, just all in it. Obviously, we have our guys down there pretty much almost seven days a week here. The last couple of weeks, you know, just. It's going to be down the wire, but we're going to get it done. And When's your first trip? Uh, March 31st. Oh, so this yeah. month. Yeah. Yeah. How many days? Uh, two days, I believe. Okay. So we're looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Get, just get out there. And I think it's going to be Renee and Allie are out there before us, I believe. Oh, okay. Well, Allie are on the show tomorrow, so we'll find Ooh, out. Nice. Right? Yeah. 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 So, Lori, <clears throat> what are passengers going to see when they get on the boat uh, on March 31st uh, that's different? So up in the galley, they did a lot of work. They carpeted up the walls, and they did wainscoting below. They put stainless steel behind a brand-new overhead. It looks really nice. Wow. Uh, And so what's the schedule look like? I mean, are, are... I mean, you guys, I look at your schedule, it's pretty much sold out. Are you guys have any openings? So in April and May, we just put on a bunch of two- and three-day trips. Wow. So there's oh, still cool. like six, seven, eight trips that have spots. And so we're hoping when the first bluefin or fish hits the deck, that'll fill those last few spots. But they're pretty much just doing short trips all through April and May. They're going to be busy. Yeah. You think the bluefin are going to be hitting the deck in April? I, I'd like to think so. I mean, if yeah. past history repeats itself, yeah. it's... You know, the ocean got pretty torn up. A lot of lot of 30 to 50 knot winds and big seas, as as everybody knows. But it uh, seems ho- hopefully with the weather pattern starting to calm down, like like Booger's out today or Matt's driving to San Diego with 26 people. Wow. Yeah, Ru- first, 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 first run, run, right? Yeah, right. for today um, with rumors of a, of a few yellowtail being seen and even rumors of a few being caught. So. Hopefully it's it's gonna come around. You know, talking to Frank, you know, because he has the Shogun and the Supreme running. I think around the 21st, I believe, we talked about the possibility of getting an airplane up through SAC. And if not, you know, we're talking our, ourselves. You know, hiring Drew to go up and uh, kind of make the ocean a little bit smaller and yeah. get us in the ballpark. So ho- hopefully we're catching fish right out of the gate. Yeah, for sure. Well. The commercial guys, uh, Ted and his group, they were done very quickly again this year, right? Again. Oh, it was yeah. quickly. Yeah. You, you know, it, it's it's Ted is such a good fisherman. He just absolutely just he's unbelievable. His just every aspect about him and his professionalism, and it, it's good and bad for us. Before they used to be fishing until June, and so we would go there and we'd have quite a bit of air support, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, that that that's that's uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a fun fun deal when the first bluefin hits the deck on one of the long range boats. It'll right? be exciting. Who do you think's gonna be the guy? Oh, probably uh, Renee or Aliar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because they're they're gonna start out at it first. Yeah. Both both those kids are fantastic fishermen. Oh yeah, yeah they're yeah. they're fantastic. Pretty amazing. So how <laughs> far where where the commercial uh, fleet? caught all that bluefin how far is that from san diego that was a couple hundred miles okay so yeah. it's in really not that, that far range. no no no, no. Yeah. is that similar to previous it, years it, it has been it seems like it's kind of in the pattern where they end up out west and they kind of move in back in towards the beach towards us in san diego and then they go down the fathom curve to above uh, ranger bank which is just above uh, cedrus mm-hmm. and th- those guys the last couple three years have pretty much done their business on the fathom curve you know, outside Geronimo, Sac Reef, above Cedrus, somewhere along that fathom curve. And so hopefully uh, we'll get back on them. It's so crazy how our fisheries change. I mean, really, over the last seven, eight years, so blessed to have yeah. that in the mix, man. Because Fishing a resident species almost. Right. Yeah. I know it's crazy. We hope, right? Yeah. Right? I mean, we, we... At least for myself, yeah. our future. <laughs> right? I yeah. mean, from the second year to the third year, now that, like, the I think the eighth season or, you know, roughly in that realm, and now you can, Ray, you can call it a resident, you know? Yeah. 
I'm really hoping, you know, obviously there's also in the back of my mind, because I got, I honestly feel honored to be like one of the last younger generations to see Albacore. But, right. You know, with this weather nowadays, it's like, or at least this year. Kinda, Reminiscent. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So. Hey, well, a special guest in the world headquarters here. And How one about of the advantages that? of being in the zone here, Captain Ken Frankie from SAC has a big announcement here. Hey, morning, Pete. Good morning. morning, Brian. Morning, everybody. Morning. Um, morning. I, Commander. I was next door at the SAC office listening to the show going, oh, right on, right on. Um, the reason I'm here is I uh, wanted to let you all know that uh, I'll actually be working with Brian and some of the other long-range folks. Uh, we hired a plane. We're starting early. Wow. And just because of what Brian was just saying, um, we'll have a plane probably within about a week and a half covering all the areas wow. that, Bri- Thank that you, Brian Ken. was just Thank talking you, about. Thank so, you so much. Everybody recognizes things are early, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure all the boats are monitoring what's coming up the line. Yeah. Wow. Well, I know it's not going to be Tom Green, but... Do can we get a sack spotter pane pilot to call in and give us a full report on Let's Talk Hookup like Tom used to do? Probably so, and actually Tom is involved. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice, absolutely. So, cool. so uh, yeah, so uh, it, retirement. well, it'll be Tom and his partner. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we're real excited to have him, and I'll be working with Brian and some of the other uh, long range captains this week with the pilot and plan everything out. But we're gonna start now. How cool. Tom and Adrian? Yes. <laughs> wow. Two of the Wonderful. best in the business, the that's for sure. Yeah, that's thank great you, news, Ken. Ken. Well, thank you for stopping by the world headquarters here and giving us the, the fantastic news. Thanks, oh, Commander. Cool. All right. The, the guardian angel of the sport fishing fleet oh, right there. What a surprise Captain visit. Frankie. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, really great to see it. So that's uh, that's big news for you guys, right? I, Make, like you say, huge. it shrinks the ocean, right? That's huge, yes. Yeah. I, you, I, I, I can't thank Karen. I'm sorry, Lori, to interrupt, but I can't thank Karen for Frankie enough for allowing Ken to, to be our guardian angel. It's yeah. just it, the, the, the things that that man does for our business. It's why we're all sitting here. For sure. He wanted to retire. I was like, no, you can't do that, right? <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. The fleet would not be where they are today without yeah. Ken. Yeah, no, we're very grateful for him and, and everything he does for the fleet. And, and that's a classic example. He brings Tom Green out of retirement along with Adrian, the two of the best in the business. And Adrian, I know, is the pilot for Ted, too. So yes. he's already More seen a bunch. Yeah. He knows exactly where they, they are. So <laughs> that'll be good. Good. That's really good news for the sport fishing fleet, for sure. How long? I mean, Tom is, is it over 50 years now, Tom Green? Yeah. He's yeah he's he's iconic yeah. Yeah, incredible he's, he's been yeah since I was on the Royal Polaris he he's been a part of the whole fleet yeah incredible yeah he's good so so uh, so like you say that shrinks the ocean on a two day trip should be able to get into the zones we'll see yeah we'll see how far yeah so Lori <laughs> you said there were actually openings left on the American Angler which I can't believe it's because it's such a great operation you guys mm-hmm. run. Um, in April, you can actually get a spot on one of those two-day trips. You can, and you can book it online. Give me a call. Yeah. Just check out the schedule. Yeah. All right. AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Call, com. text, Yeah, email. text, whatever. I do. I text. It's, it's all there. <laughs> you, do, you do it all, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> you do quite a bit, though. But you, but you guys here, just so people know, you guys are all partners in the boat, right? It's like these, they're all you all are owner-operators, right? So you have you have a vested interest in making sure the boat's doing a well, doing a good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How does that change your life, Ray? I know you've been with the boat for a long time, and now you are a partner. And um, how how does that change your outlook on things? Uh, you know, just it's always just been a part of my life. Just growing up in sports, just always having that drive and just yeah. determination, just to be the best in everything. And so. You know, when it comes to the business and just growing up as being a deckhand, I just love it so much. Just, yeah. It's just the drive. Well, you have a passion for it. Yeah. You yeah, know, definitely. Ray's always been the select few of the individuals out there that have always treated the boat, customers, all of that like it was his own. Yeah. So it was. The, it's a natural progression. And to find that in an, in an individual is so rare out here. You know, the hundreds of kids that work on boats and this and that. There are a select few that they treat life, work, and everything they do like they own it themselves. And they have that pride, and he's one of the select few. I mean, coming from Brian, that's yeah. those are huge words. Yeah. And I was just lucky enough to fall into their arms as well and 
get treated, sure. get treated the same. So, yeah, it's, well, you know, like Gloria always says, it's like family, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm so proud of Ray. Yeah, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> How long have you been with, been together with all, all of you? Uh, the, this will be my 19th season. Come on. 19? Wait a minute. Is that all on the angler? Yes. All on I, the angler. Yeah, I had my 18th birthday on the boat. <laughs> on the boat. Wow. <laughs> wow. Where'd you find this guy? I grew up uh, with Nick Cates on the new Loan, emptying oh. trash cans and hooking handing, so I cut my teeth catching albacore with him. No kidding. With, we, with Nick. We, we were loading bait across from the Loan, and me and Sam were on the Queen, and Charles Hunter. I remember goes, very well. Brian, Charles. this young man right here, he needs to come work with you and Sam. Wow. And I and I and I yelled across the receiver. I think you were what, thirteen or fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> and I said that the day if Charles says this about you, the day you turn eighteen, walk down the dock and you are hired. Incredible. And he did. Really? I think it was a, the a January first trip you were on. Yes. That was on the American Angler. On the American, he yeah. turned eighteen, walked down the dock, went went on an eight day trip in Lower Banks back then. Was it? Wow. I've been there ever since. Yeah. Incredible. What a great story. <clears throat> really yeah. cool. Yeah. That's really great. Well, as you can hear, we have a lot of great stories for you today to tell you about with uh, Brian and Ray and Lori. It's uh, it's it's like a family. It, it tru- Not like a family. It's truly yeah. family, you know, and, and being family and Let's Talk Hook Up. And, man, you want to join us today, there's two ways to do it, as always. Uh, 213 is a telephone number. 213-432-1090. There's uh, one open line right now. It's yours. Or you can text us, uh, text the show via the app, down, free download, super easy to do. Texts are already pouring in, phones are already packing up, so get on it. And we're giving away a really cool prize. Did I hear right, Pete? Really cool prize. Uh, we're giving away a jacket? Yeah, tell us about the jacket, Lori. Give it's it an American Angler jacket. Wow. Yeah, How the cool team is that? jackets, huh? <laughs> right? Yeah, Members cool. only. Yeah. yeah, there it is, right there. That's so, it. so you get to have. Jacket in your size uh, yep, just and proudly display the American Angler. When the show's over, find out the size and they'll ship it out today. That's pretty cool. Right? And yeah. so we'll, we'll flip a coin at the end of the show. And uh, between a caller and a texter, we'll give away a, an American Angler jacket. Super cool. So, again, 213-432-1090 is the telephone number. Or text us via the app. We're going to be reading those texts. Taking your calls and we'll return on the Let's Talk Like a Bath the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Low, low, low gas prices, great service, and free ice is what Summit Gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena is all about. For your car, truck, and especially your trailer boat, you need Summit Gasoline. The savings are substantial when you fill up at the Summit, but they don't compromise on service. No way. The great staff is attentive, friendly, and ready to help. When you pull up to the pumps, notice how clean it is, the great sound system, and, of course, the low gas and diesel prices. Walk into the Summit Gasoline Beach. Bistro and check out the selection of frozen bait and chum, the top of the line Italian coffee, and so much more. Now, hear this. Get 100 pounds of ice free with a 35 gallon minimum purchase and stock up on snacks, beer, water, soda, and fishing licenses for your trip. Just when you need low gas prices most, Summit Gasoline at the Sports Arena comes to the rescue. Summit Gasoline. Low prices, friendly staff, free ice, and easy in and out with your boat and trailer at the San Diego Sports Arena. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Famas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. Hayden Lane here from Fast Lane Kayaking, and I gotta tell you about all the rad new stuff we have in the shop. Like the fully updated new line of Hobie inflatable kayaks, the iTrek series. Hobie took the best selling i11s and made it even better. Then added new models like it, like the new iTrek 9 that weighs just 37 pounds, fully rigged, packs into a small bag with wheels, and fits just about anywhere. And on the water, this thing performs. 
featuring a super wide and flat hull shape that is stable and an elevated beach chair style seat that is comfortable. Or the all new Hobie Mirage Lynx. Inspired by the shape of the inflatable kayaks, Hobie made a durable and ultralight hardtop model. It's the missing link. It looks like a hybrid of a stand-up paddleboard and a kayak. And the best part, at just 45 pounds, the whole weighs about half as much as similar sized kayaks. And it's stackable. Pile them up on your roof rack or your truck bed. You gotta see this thing. Stop by the shop right on the water in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay. Or check us out online at fastlanekayaking.com. The PCS show is coming, and we will have our first ever booth at the show. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Check us out in the all-new saltwater building at the PCS show in Costa Mesa, where we will feature the Shimano lineup of rods, reels, and lures like Talica reels, Terramar rods, and the hot current sniper lures. And as always, our expert staff will help you select that perfect Shimano setup for the fish you want to pursue. For saltwater tackle at the PCS show, your best stop is Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Hi, I'm Pat McDonald here to tell you that the Hall Shows are back. Bart Hall Shows February 16th through the 19th at the Del Mar Fairgrounds and March 29th through April 2nd at the Long Beach Convention Center. Share the passion of outdoor recreation as we celebrate 75 years of Hall Shows family fun. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. And uh, again, well, the line, well, one line did open actually 213-432-1090, or you can text us via the app, and we're giving away a. American Angler American jacket. jacket, yeah, yeah. custom. We'll, we'll flip a coin at the end of the show to yeah, decide that one for sure. Hey, let's go to Costa Mesa right now. Talk to Mr. Bill DePriest. Good morning, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Doing great. How's the PCS show going? Holy mackerel! We had an amazing turnout. Thursday was a gigantic line. Yesterday was huge, and we're expecting double today. So I can imagine. I've heard stories that it's just been fantastic. And there's, correct me if I'm wrong, seven different halls. Seven different halls. Yeah, it's uh, everyone walking out the door. I've been walking back to the gate, talking to people on the way out, and everyone saying they need more than one day to see it all. So we're we're so excited and thankful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And 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 the seminars are just mind blowing. How many different seminars you have up there, right? Yeah, the seminars are going great. Our national anthem in the morning for the people in line's been great. <laughs> uh, everything's just rolling right. Yeah, it's been amazing. What a yeah. turnout! So, uh, you as the show producer, what have been the highlights for you? Can you kind of? I know there's a lot, and you don't want to step on anybody's toes, but kind of give us some of the the highlights in your eyes. Of man, this is a great show, huh? Well, I just think, you know, the uh, the retail buying experience is, is as good as I've ever seen anywhere. Um, we have tons of tackle shops, tons of deals. Uh, the kids' trout pond, all the travel stuff, the boat stuff. We have tons of boats. Uh, it's just it's everything. And the, the thing that we're being told by everybody is just they walk the whole show and they are absolutely amazed at the fact that these are all our industry people. It's just one giant show of industry folks. So yep. it's exciting. Yeah, and that's what's cool. And yeah, I know uh, I know uh, uh, Valerie's there from Queen Charlotte Safaris. It's I know uh, Bob true. and Charmel are there from Katmai Lodge. If you want to go to travel in Alaska or, or, or up to Canada, they're, they're there they're, along with a lot of other stuff. I know uh, Parker Boats is there. Nick Kelly's there with uh, with the West Coast Marine, and the H and H Marine guys are there. And of course, our buddy Rock Cod Rick is there with Fisherman's Landing Tackle, Turner's Outdoorsman with a giant tack. I, Mike Lum was telling me. Uh, Turner's Outdoorsman thing is huge. Display is gigantic. Yeah, it's 40, 40 by 160 feet. I think it's like 6,000 square feet. It's almost half the building. <laughs> Holy wow. mackerel. That's, that's big. That's big. And the other thing, too, Mike Lum was telling me, who, who you can find in the Rollo booth, in the Captain Rollo Kids at Sea Friends of Rollo, is uh, that it's just past the Turner's booth. And you turn, you go past the Turner's booth and you turn right and you'll find the Rollo booth. And they have their annual raffle tickets and they've got a special deal. Brand new deal. Of course, Mike Lum, the brilliant guy, he always comes up with a great deal. You buy two raffle tickets, and you get to spin the wheel for free. It used to be 10 bucks a spin. Now it costs you nothing. All you got to do is buy two raffle tickets, which gets you into the grand raffle uh, of the Rollo, and you get to take kids fishing just by your donation there and have a chance to win some amazing trips and prizes and, and, and all kinds of stuff there. So go be sure to go by the Rollo booth and see Mike and Tim and, and the gang from Rollo, and of course, uh, the other big push too is of course joining CCA. And if you join CCA, right. you get in free, right? They do, they do. They have a show package that comes with all kinds of things: your membership, your entry into the show, 
Uh, I think on Thursday they had seven or more uh, lifetime members, which I think is one of their biggest days they've ever had with Whoa. lifetime members. Pretty cool. That's awesome. So basically, and you get a goodie bag too. If you get not only get in free, but you also get a goodie bag um, that uh, is worth worth some serious bucks, along with the CCA membership. And of course, the most important thing is being a member of CCA and to fight these uh, crazy closures that they're trying to That's put right. on us, the thirty thirty and such like that. So, That's right. so Bill. PCS show, Pacifico Sport Fishing Show, uh, again today and tomorrow. Give us the hours, and how do we find you? Yeah, today it opens up at 10 till 7 o'clock. Tomorrow's 10 to 5. We're at the Orange County Fair and Event Center, which some of you may know it as the Orange County Fairgrounds. You get off 55 Freeway at Fair, make a quick right, and it's the first gate right there to park. So you're, you're only a block off the freeway. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and I hear parking is super breezy. It's really easy. Yeah. Yeah. Great, Bill. Congratulations on a huge show, a successful show, and we'll see you up there at uh, the Pacific right. Sport we'll Fishing Show then. today and tomorrow at the Orange County Fair and Events Center. Sponsored by Cutwater, I might add, too. You can go get a Cutwater cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it very much. All right. Hey, have cool. a great day. Are you, too. Phones are packed, and they want to talk to these guys from the American Anglers, so let's jump into it, Corey. Let's do it. Pete, how about uh, starting out with Mike? Mike from Torrance. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up, Mike. Thank you very much. Good morning, uh, Pete, Corey, Brian, uh, Ray, and Lori. I fished with uh, Brian since he bought the American Angler, and I haven't had too much chance to fish. I mean, I fished with Brian since he bought the uh, Pacific Queen, and I haven't had too much chance with the American Angler. I fished once with you, and I'm going again in July. I just want to thank you for all the uh, leadership you brought to the sport fishing industry and the um, – and the care of the fish, it's really trickling down, and, and we're, we're seeing it in the quality and, and in the processing. So thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in July. Mike, thank you for all the kind words. I appreciate it. And, uh, I yeah, it, it's all of, the, all of the above. You know, the fish handling now between not only us but the entire fleet has just stepped it up where now less is more. We don't have to keep as many fish. It's 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 all a win win, just like the show. Everything it it it's a win win. Better quality, right? Just, yeah, less is more. Yeah, now. it's just and and the the quality of the fish that comes off the American angler is still. You're 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 uh, also on the side of commercial fishermen, and and you know how to take care of fish, right? Yeah, and I would say not only the American angler, but overall throughout oh, yeah. the whole fleet, it, it's just becoming a, a better deal every year. You yeah. you say commercial <laughs> fisherman, Pete, but I think his fish handling skills coming from the sport fleet is what transpired into his commercial side. Oh, if I, definitely. If I can... I, 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 I'm definitely a sport fisherman at heart, but yeah. spending all those years on the fillet board, you know, cutting fish out of the gunny sack, all that, to what, what, what it is now, it's, it's a big part of it. Like when we, when we had the queen, me and Sam, bleeding of fish was imperative. You know, now they, now they have all the, different techniques and this and that. But number one, bleeding that fish is the most important. And we would catch 100 albacore a day. Yeah. And the one albacore that wasn't bled, it's like, who who processed this fish? You know, cause <laughs> you could tell. Oh, yeah, it would make a mess of the table and the meat wasn't the same and all no that. Kidding. So, wow. you know, all those hours and hours and hours they spent on the fillet board now transpires to like, as soon as the fish is head gapped, to like taking and handling and not smashing and and the whole thing just because you know realizing what the end product is. What's your what's your method to bleed the fish? Mostly cut the gills, spike yeah. and, and clip the gills. Cut the, the spike and cut the cut the gills. Clip the gills, yeah. yeah. Do you guys do the the, the ikijimi wire? We have not. We have passengers that bring the ikijimi wire out, but uh, ho- hopefully they're coming aboard a little faster pace than we will <laughs> keep up doing that yeah. ikijimi. I, I mean, it's kind of a good thing you can't wire them all because, <laughs> like, like you just said, hopefully yeah. you're you're gaffing them faster than you can yeah, wire them. A little bit faster yeah, pace yeah, yeah. than that. Right. Yeah, for sure. Hey, good stuff there. And, and so, you, what about fish processors and working with fish processors? So the only thing I would have to say about that is make sure you get your reservation. The processors, it's become a very desirable 
product. And so it's not just the long range fleet. Everybody wants to get their fish processed. And so with three fish processors, and if it's a really good season again, as it was last year, if you don't have a reservation, it's going to make it really tough to get, especially same day, maybe even next day. So regardless of when your trip is, even if it's not till December, make a reservation with your processor. Yeah. It's imperative. With one processor. Yes, just yeah. with one processor. Yeah. Don't do multiple processors yeah. because that messes up the whole system. The whole system. Because I'm standing up there dockside while they're all working hard and unloading the fish and everything's up there and guys think they have a reservation there and Sean will say, well, I thought he had a reservation with me. And Drew said, I thought he had a reservation with me. So just make one processor reservation because that makes the whole process more streamlined. But make that reservation. Well, make it now. Yeah, for make sure. Make it now. And with, with the processors, we would not be here with, with any of the oh, – without the three of them. The and quality. Yeah, and knowing all three of them pretty much since their inception, they are all fantastic. Sean, Drew, Poncho, they are all very professional and – and a lot of times on the boat side of it, we have to be more patient with the processors. And the same with our, our customers. We all have to be more patient with the customers because there's – we. It's, Without the customer. It's 2023. We're all yeah. – you know, there, there's a lack of help. There's, you know, all of that. It yeah. affects all businesses. And and like you're saying, without the customer, you wouldn't have anything, right? So yeah. and And fish quality too. So if you didn't have the fish quality coming off the boat, which – you guys create yeah the fish processor couldn't say that they have you know the end best product because i, I mean it takes both of you working together really mm-hmm. with the customer and the fish to 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 where you're ending up with a sushi grade quality product you're taking home yeah and maybe it came out wrong i i'm asking our customers to be more patient with the processors okay. too just yeah. because they're on the ropes we oh. have, we have 25 more trips this year Exactly. Yes. And and they're short trips, so we're in every other day. Twenty five more trips than you've had in previous years. Than, than last year. Then wow. three day trips, two day trips, two day trips, three day trips. So wow. you know the processors, they're buried. They're yeah. buried, and you know everyone's ability to catch fish has gotten better as far as the fleet is concerned. Right. And so there's only X. There's only three processors, and so we as customers and of the processors, we're only as good as they are, so we have to become more patient with the processors there as well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Here's a great text from Garrett in Mission Viejo. He says, Hi, Brian, Ray, and Lori. Will the American Angler be available to see it day at the docks, which is coming up March 19th, Sunday, March 19th? My boys Ryder and Jacob would love to see her, their favorite boat. Hey, Garrett. Um, you know what? We're, we're going we're gonna to try our hardest. You know, Like I said, we even got the guys down there today. You know, as soon as we leave here, we're going to get to work, but we're going to try our hardest to, to get it and be able to show for you guys. But so it'll be at the dock. It'll it's be at the dock. It's just a matter of whether the maintenance yeah. is... Uh, Correct. Yeah. Realistically, Garrett, I'm saying no, because we aren't going to have the deck painted yet. Uh, and, I you see. know, we still have some cosmetic things to take care of where... In order to make the March 31st deadline, it's, it's, gotcha. we're going to be working every day. Yeah. So well, you we, can might come see the boat. we might be yeah, around to say hi. We might be around to say hi. You can see the boat from the outside, but uh, but yeah. the boat will be at the dock. But getting aboard might be a challenge. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. but they could come up to the office and get a hat because Ryder and his brother are super cute. <laughs> oh, okay. So go see Lori. <laughs> With their breakfast burrito. Yeah. With their breakfast burrito. There you go. Yeah. Um, the, so you're like like you said from the deck up everything's new the new new uh, new deck uh, material or is it the same material you had on there before? So it was mostly paint. Like right right now our big project is we're putting new teak rails on the upper deck. Oh, because whoa. you know after 37 years it's it's the teak started lifting. There was a little bit of corrosion and so to do a proper paint job we Ray skill saw the rails off and. Pretty much, we demolished them, and we bought teak last year at this time. Whew. You know, looking forward, to it, it's, you know, just knowing that we're going to do it this year, so yeah. to have all the, all the, all the supplies and everything before we started. So right now, Steve Russo, the master carpenter, he is uh, down there fitting the rails as we speak. Sweet. Yeah, he's the man. He's been sure. a part of the fleet too for decades. Oh, he put the rails yeah. on the Royal Polaris. Yeah. Crazy. You know, in the seventies, yeah, wow. he was he was a part of building the Royal Players. Master Incredible. Carpenter, for Master sure. Master Carpenter, yeah, for sure. Corey, let's jump back into it. Let's do it. How about Don, our good friend Don of Woodland Hills? Good morning, Don. Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you for taking my call. 
Um, my question is for Brian and Ray. Um, on a longer trip, say an eight or a ten day, what would be your go-to Wahoo rig, and why? Um, honestly, I, I'm I'm just good with like a Salus Six X Junior, you know, and and some and I would say probably fifty pound. You know, there's so many different reels out there, but you know, I'm pretty basic. I don't really have a particular jig. I just, uh, I believe it was Taro, the owner operator of the uh, Liberty. He was always the guy who had the speeches like the um, fastest guy wins when coming to Oahu. So as far as real goes, um, there's so many out there. But you know, just a six X Junior. There's so many different bombs out there nowadays. I mean, there's God. We could talk about it forever, but you know, <laughs> I, I personally don't honestly have a favorite. I'm kind of the guy who walks up the side, and it look, if it looks juicy to me, if it's flashy or whatever, just throw it out. And uh, yeah. For me, Don, to be communicating with the crew and the captains, if you're <laughs> fishing somewhere that hasn't been fished in a week or even a couple, three days, so you're getting, you know, kind of a fresh look at it, or you're fishing kelps for Wahoo, when you find them, they haven't seen a lure before, I'd go with a bomb and wire. If, if you're at the 13 or you're at the Laos Rocks and there's been a boat there every day, straight tie monofilament with fluorocarbon leader and a 6X Junior. And when things get touchy, throw a sardine out in light wire. Wow. That's my gig. That's that's the deal. Like, what's light wire? 27? Yeah, 27 pounds. Yeah. Something super light. As long as it's not sharky, you, you'll be able to land them. So. Yeah. With that being said, I think communication with the crew and the captain is your best Wahoo get. Yeah. Why is it about Wahoo? What is it about Wahoo that people love catching Wahoo? I kind of know, but what's your thought on that? They're exciting. They're kind of like unicorns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, there's just, there's, you know, you, you can get at sometimes plenty of opportunities at them, but it's just a matter of being able to land them. So, sure. With, with more yacht traffic and more sport, sport fishing traffic, it, it the, the number of days where we, we catch 100 of them are now on, on, my, on one hand a year. Yeah. Whereas when, you know, 30 years ago, people wanted to catch a 200-pound tuna because we caught 400 wahoo a trip. And so now it's whatever we're not catching ah, is what we want. Now we're, everyone's catching more 100, 150-pound tuna. It's like, man, I really wish I'd catch a wahoo. It's like kind of like catching sea bass, right? <laughs> like the ghost. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, first time all morning, a line's been open. 213-432-1090. You want to get through, there's your chance. Hey, normally we have Castman this time of the this time of the morning, but Castman's traveling. So uh, I want to just remind you that Gamakatsu will have some great deals at the PCS show today and tomorrow at the Turner's Outdoorsman booth. Buy two packs of Gamakatsu hooks and get one free. Buy $30 Gamakatsu items and receive a free bo- three G-Box 3200, and you'll also be entered into a grand prize drawing, plus the new Gamakatsu EDC fillet knives are 30% off. Go by the Gamakatsu booth for more details at the PCS show today and tomorrow. All right, Corey, you have a good text? I do, actually, and uh, Pete, this one comes from uh, Gary White in Lawndale, right? So he, Iron uh, Man. Right, exactly. Uh, it says, Captain Brian's one of the nicest guys in the fleet, a gentleman. It says, the American angler has a reputation as the cleanest in the fleet. And he says, uh, you know, just a comment. He says, went to the PCS show. Bring your walking shoes, he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Hey, very good. I have another great test, too, here. It's from Paul and Rancher Bernardo. He says, good morning. Hope you all are well. My question is, how do you know when your fishing line is worn out and not usable? That's a good question. I mean, how, how do you know that? Or just you just don't, and you just change it when you need to. Ray? Uh, again, ask the crew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the there crew, you go. You know I mean? Take yeah, a look just, at your line. Yeah, resource number one, ask the crew. You know, it's just if you're unsure. Yeah. You know, go to the crew, say, hey, you know, I'm having a situation, I'm breaking off or whatever, just, you know, and obviously, hopefully, they'll lead you in the right direction. But, you know, it, if you're in doubt at all, you know, what's what's a $10 top shot or something? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You spend all this money to come out fishing, you might as well just get a fresh one on there. Spectra will last quite a long time, but there might be a nick in it somewhere yeah. or something. If you get a fish on the li- of the lifetime on, is it really worth risking exactly. it? Exactly. Monofilament, you want to change every trip, though, I would guess, right? I would guess so, yeah. Yeah, so... But mostly what you guys are fishing with are 
short top shot type of thing a lot uh, two two power pro spectra mm, yeah yes and thing. no you know like i think most of our rental packages and they got you know a good base of spectra with you know a hundred yards of top shot mono okay with mono on yeah it. and obviously you know the the double black diamond skiers they have the shorter top shots and stuff like that but, gotcha yeah. okay so, uh, the rental gear all comes with fresh top shots correct correct yeah. every trip you know if you're coming out you see Lori and you need a rental package we'll Guys will get you going. Yeah. Fresh line, latest and greatest. Yeah. Everything. You just you just coordinate that for the passengers, Lori? So when they book a trip, if it's somebody new, I talk to them and ask them because what they have on the boat is really nice, but they only have enough loaner gear for like eight, ten guys. So I just want to make sure when they book the trip to make sure they're set then. So I talk to them about it when they book the trip. Okay, yeah. But that pretty much tells you the story, Paul. If they're changing the rental gear mono of Top Shot every time, Every time you go fish and change that mono top shot. Right, and it's cheap enough. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's low enough price that why not? I mean, yeah. why, why, like Ray said, why skimp? Cost of a trip today, you want to maximize your opportunities. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And sure. the bounty at hand, too. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at what you're bringing home. I mean, that... Uh, that's sashimi grade stuff. I mean, that's why. I mean, just add it all up, and why, why, why leave ten dollars, you know, worth of monofilament, right? I mean, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Exactly. When in doubt, just change it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's jump into the phones, Corey. Let's do it. How about Mike? Mike calling from Phoenix. Good morning, Mike. Appreciate you joining us on Let's Talk Hookup. Morning, lady and gentlemen. Question I right, have yes. for y'all is on a two day trip. When do you guys leave and when do you come back? I'm normally I do the two and a halfs and you leave at night, you come back in the morning. How does the two day work? So it's going to be show up at 7 a.m. for a check in, depart at 9 a.m. Hello. And then when you could return and they get usually get back 5:30 in the morning because they were turned around again at 9 a.m. I would I would say the biggest one of the biggest reasons you know we usually typically in the, over the last 25 years around day and a half trips and now with the this nighttime flat falling thing it's changed it all it, it's just changed the whole dynamic yeah. of it whereas on a two-day trip no <clears throat> you're able to keep two days worth the limits but also we maximize that that whole nighttime fishery so again the two-day trips that are coming in april leave when so 9 a.m 9 a.m okay so they'll you'll be out there for the afternoon evening evening flat fall and then you come back then have a full fish. day of fishing you have a full right. day of fishing the next day and then maybe a few hours of fishing depending upon the mileage the gotcha. next night and then home the following morning the more following yeah. the morning okay. so we started so day wow. yeah so brian and ray just said you know we could have two days of limits then we give if we have to travel further if they sure. can fish at night so it just made sense yeah that's nice. There's so, a lot of time, Captain Wise. We'd arrive on scene. Say it's 50 miles from home, and we leave at seven o'clock. We get there at 11 or midnight, and it's like party's over. Party's over. <laughs> yeah. It's it's crazy how it's all changed. I mean, how for how many years do you think you were running over this oh. where it was fishable, like to where it is now? I mean, forever. Where, really? Forever. It's like I'll, I'll, especially during the moon, like even the albacore days. There, there's a lot of times where one of the co guys, or or our kids kids on watch, they'd be, hey, you gotta look at this, and we're just driving over mega meat of albacores, big sonar schools just across the fathom meter all the way across. And it's like, oh man, we're really gonna get him here when it gets light, and it gets light, you don't even see a scale. <laughs> but now, seeing what we see now, if we would have stopped. And through a small shiny lure, I guarantee it, we would have. We caught him when we were up in Morro Bay in, in, in the dark. In the dark. Yeah. Albacore. Yeah, Albacore. Really? I, I I know for a fact that you know doing the flat whole flat fall technique and that that type of we we would have been catching them back then too. I notice a lot of the boats have put on big floodlights all the way around the boat. Does that help keep the fish around the boat? So it it it's it everybody kisses their wives different. Um, you, you're gonna you're gonna ask me my my you know philosophy on sure. it's gonna be completely different than Ray's. Okay. And then you're gonna talk to Aliar tomorrow, and his philosophy is gonna be completely different. It's like baseball players were very superstitious. Uh -huh. We need more lights, and that's why that guy's getting them. We're not. Oh, it's gotcha. he, he, yeah. he, there's a lot of that going on. But overall, for us, we try and light up as much as possible, just because light is safety. Yes. And which is our number one priority. So it's just, you know, our, our boats lit up very, very well. And uh, it just provides a whole atmosphere of safety and just, 
you know, watching the deck. It's, it's easier to see the fish in the water, tangles, that kind of thing. So with that being said, could you sonar a school at, in the dark and, and leave all the lights down low and maybe the, still get them on the night? See, the, here's, the super, <laughs> right. see here, here's, here's the superstitious, you know, confidence level. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I drive by plenty of skiffs that, that are bent over, and they don't have any lights. Yeah. Right, but right. yet... You probably won't catch some of the. You won't catch me driving around in right. complete dark. I can yeah, have, right. I can have all our lights on. It's just because we've caught them that way before, and we're confident yeah. and just yeah superstitious like baseball. Right. All right. So maybe, maybe not. Just don't know. <laughs> it's the mystery of the ocean. Everybody does things different. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna be right back on Let's Talk. I got more from the American Angler Crew when we're gonna turn on the Let's Talk. I got after Mighty or 1090 ESPN Radio. I'm Bart Hall with a different kind of commercial. Yes, I'm going to talk about the Bart Hall Show March 29th to April 2nd at the Long Beach Convention Center. It's called the granddaddy of them all for a reason. But in 1946, when my parents, Fred and Lois Hall, decided to produce an outdoor recreation event, there were no guidelines. So they just started celebrating what they loved, and that continues to this day. We produce these shows because we share the passion for outdoor recreation that everyone that comes to our events shares with us. People that come to our shows are good people, and the world needs more of them. Yes, we have tons of boats, the best fishing tackle, great deals at exotic hunting and fishing destinations. But the most important thing is that we will provide a full day of outdoor recreation family fun. Make new family memories March 29th to April 2nd at the Long Beach Convention Center. Details at hallshows.com. That's hallshows.com. Hey, it's time to talk about something good, and that's our dynamic fishery here on the West Coast and some of the most iconic game fish that swim in this salty world. We demand tools that perform flawlessly and deliver an upper hand on any situation. And that's why G. Loomis forged the all-new IMX Pro Offshore Series of Rods, making their West Coast debut today at the PCS show in Costa Mesa. It's a full lineup of purpose-built 20 to 80-pound class rods with actions designed for West Coast angler techniques and boost angler performance. G. Loomis multi-taper design technology adds materials where the blank is likely to fail and subtracts material where it won't. The Sea Guide, Train, and Fuji Reel Seat complement the battle grip that offers extreme fatigue finding comfort. Check out the new G. Loomis IMX Pro Offshore Series at today at the Shimano G. Loomis boat booth at the PCS show. And that's something because now they've designed these rods for our West Coast anglers. And that's really exciting stuff. So go see it at the PCS show. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Hey anglers, AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance to staying warm, dry, cool and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. The state-of-the-art long-range sport fishing vessel, the Independence, delivers the top quality, comfort, and fishability you look for in a long-range boat. Veteran captains Mark Pisano and Paul Strasser built this incredible 112-foot vessel with the most modern technology and luxurious comfort available. Once you go on the Independence, you'll be back. Call Independence Sports Fishing at 619-226-6006 or check IndependenceSportFishing.com. Hook up! 
up. All right. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. And, man, just having so much fun with this uh, American Angler crew, oh, Brian, yeah. Lori, and Ray, and just... Uh, they're truly family, and if you want to join the family, <laughs> one way to do it, actually, the lines are full, but I'll give you the telephone number, 213-432-1090, or you can reach us uh, via text. You can only do that through the app, and it's a simple button. Just push yeah. text the show. Yeah, that's Ma- it. You want to make sure, I, I didn't mention, you want to make sure you, you include your uh, name and telephone number, because at the end, we're going to flip a coin, and uh, Lori has brought in an American Angler jacket. Really cool-looking jacket. Man, I want to be in a Yeah, that no one. kidding. Yeah, so either a text or a caller at, with the flip of the coin at the end of the show will win that American Angler jacket in your size. Let's jump into the phones. Let's do it. How about Ryan? Ryan calling from Irvine. Man, that's not very far from the PCS show today. Yeah, right huh? down the street. How's it going, Ryan? Good morning, guys. And yeah, that's not very far at all. I'm actually going to be heading down there um, soon. But um, yeah, first off, before I say my question, you know, I I can't tell you guys enough how how much awesome you guys are. I mean, my father's been fishing with you guys since uh, 2005 with Ken Custom Reels, and I've been fishing with you guys since, I think, 20, uh, 2019, and you guys are just ultimately the best. I mean, I make the best memories, you know, with my dad on that boat, and that's, that's all it counts. Um, Thanks, Ryan. But uh, my, uh, my question is that, uh, uh-oh, hold up. Have it written down somewhere. Somewhere, uh, somewhere you have a, t- a question there. Yeah, you just got carried away Sometimes with uh, these <laughs> awesome people that we're hanging out with. That's exactly it. Yeah. So. <laughs> you, you know, so, um, Ryan's my question for Ryan you guys. comes out with three generations. Three generations at one time. Wow. Him, his dad, and his grandpa. It's cool. Oh, that is cool. Part of the family, right, yeah. Ryan? <laughs> That's cool. Oh yeah. Well, thanks oh, for joining yeah. us. We've been we've been going yeah. out for a long time. Yeah, and you got any trips planned this year? Yeah, I got that uh, that two day that uh, Lori was mentioning that first one. First one? Oh, you're going. Nice. All right. Great. Well, we hey, can start it off. Yeah, for sure. We'll be catching bluefin. Hey, thanks a lot for the call and uh, being a part of that family too. Appreciate that. I got a great text here. Uh, this is from uh, Mike, Mike Hogan. You probably know Mike Hogan, huh? Yeah. And the text and the calls are all fans. You guys, you guys have multiple fans out there for the American Angler. Good morning, everyone in the studio. The American Angler owners are extraordinary people doing ordinary things in extraordinary manner. Brian has always said that he is the entertainment. He's in the entertainment business, which is a remarkable statement for a boat owner and for those who have had the opportunity to fish their boat. That statement is certainly true. Thanks for a lifetime of memories, guys and gals, and. Any news updates for fishing Guadalupe this year? Guadalupe is off limits this year. You yeah. know, you know, we just pounded our heads against the wall and tried to get all our ducks in a row, all the proper permits and stuff. But uh, it's off limits this year it's too, not for everybody, all the sharkers, fishermen, yeah. everything. Even yeah. the dive boats. I mean, that's even the dive a no-go. Boats, yeah. 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 And, yeah. I mean, is it such a bad thing? Look what's happening within 150 miles of... Uh, of San Diego Bay right here, right? I mean, is it such a bad thing? No, it's it's not. It's not. It's not. It, it was another option, especially during the weather and stuff. But, you know, it, it's we've always persevered, it seems like. And so we're going to keep persevering and do yeah. what we do. Yeah. I mean, Guadalupe is certainly a great fisher. We'd love to be able to go back there and such. But can we keep going without it? Absolutely. Yeah. And you will, for sure. Yes, and sir. you never know. Yeah, you never you know. Never it, know. I mean, yeah. the the Mexican government could come to their senses and actually give us back the opportunity to be there as kind of security forces too, sure. which is good. And it's lucrative too. I mean, it's it's they get a payday for it too. So I don't know. Maybe, Absolutely, you might miss a couple of those dollars. Yeah, <laughs> we'll Corey, see. you have one there. I do actually. Uh, it says good morning, my friend, uh, and I are booked on the March thirty first two day. I think we've heard this a couple yeah, times already, oh. right? And uh, well, well, what is the right? What is the likelihood of doing any nighttime knife jigging for tuna? And what kind of jigging setup would you recommend? And thanks from Roger and Rancho Palos Verdes. I think the the chances are high. Hopefully, like we just had Ken come in and hopefully get the plane up there, get them located, and we, a few guys going out and got the master Aliar going out, you know, before us. So hopefully get on them. And so I, I'm hoping that we'll be able to. Follow suit and just get, get them. Fall right on their train tracks, yeah. And, and like you mentioned earlier, you've set these trips up to maximize that that nighttime fishing. So, yep. I think Rogers in good hands. What are the chances, Ray, that it's going to be a nighttime fishery again 
and not the uh, daytime fishery like we used to do. Person myself, I like sleeping. So yeah, hopefully it's daytime. <laughs> hopefully it's daytime. <laughs> and know, it could be both, right? But there is a thrill of nighttime fishing. You know, it definitely is a whole different you know feel and obviously ball game. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the daytime, but yeah. Me too. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nighttime's for sleeping. Yeah. 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 Vampire fishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, Brian, what's your take on that? It, it, it's There's different situations, different conditions. There's times where at nighttime, it, like bait, it schools up, and right before daylight, it's the, you gone. know, it, it's the time you're all looking forward to, then boom, it's gone. There's other times where you don't see it at nighttime, and it's scattered out all during the day, long drifts and plunking at them. So it, it's all condition change. Um, I myself am getting older. I like daytime fishing better. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, and it, it's just, you know, it's not a personal thing, but it, it's for us. Service is a big thing. And I'll be honest with everybody out there, the service on the boat is less professional because there's no possible way all our crew members could stay up 24 hours a day. Yeah. So there's times during the day where it's, the captain and two or three deckhands up because everyone else is trying to catch up on sleep. Right. So, you know, there's fantastic catches made at night. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But it's kind of taken away from the service industry as a For whole sure. gig. Yeah. You yeah, because like you say, you can't stay up 24 hours no, a day. No. It's just impossible. Yeah, so understand that when you're going on a trip and they're biting at night. Yes. And, and that's, to be patient. Said, that's to be said fleet-wide. I yes, mean, that's yes, yeah. fleet-wide. Yeah, there's a lot of boats being sold here lately and you look at it and you know there's different reasons why but it's a lot of it is some of these old timers it's just not fun yeah and i'm getting to be one of those old timers and it's just (laughs) like it's just like our decision making and stuff it's just lack of sleep sure no we need our sleep those old guys yeah hey Corey, let's jump into the phones let's do it how about rosie rosie calling from harupa valley good morning appreciate you joining us rosie hi good morning everyone happy saturday um, I was excited to hear about the uh, trips added for April, and I'm checking them out. And I was just wondering, so for April, um, what what do you normally fish for, and what's like the bare minimum tackle that we should bring so we don't bring the entire garage? Well, ho- hopefully, Rosie, good morning. We're, hopefully, we're going to be targeting bluefin. And um, mm-hmm. it, it's, that's it's, what those two days trips are designed yeah, for. Yeah, that, that, that's what we're designed for. And being that it's, you know, April, a lot of times there's wind. If it's if there's 20, 25 knots forecasted, we're going to give you a call several days before and not go fishing because it's no fun for we're anybody. Not gonna, you're not going to take people out and get beat up. Not We're going to do our best not to yeah. because it's supposed to be fun. Especially yeah. when there's nighttime fishing. Again, getting back to the safety thing, you know, right. fishing 25 knots at night. Not fun. Not, not cool. Not, not yeah. fun. Yeah, so so Rosie, if and when you do book a trip, I, I would just you know f- follow our Instagram, our social media, and you, you'll get a good idea of what we're catching. And please don't hesitate to call Lori, and because she's a fisherman as well, comes from a fishing family, she knows all about the tackle and all that. And if she has any questions, she she'll just call us directly to the boat and say what's going on, what type of tackle do I need, what are you using, that kind of thing. Yeah, I also want to make reference to Rosie of of ladies that fish on the American Angler, and uh, you have a lot of them, right, Lori? Oh, we love it when ladies come fishing. It sort of sets the tone on the boat. Yeah. I mean, everybody's on their best behavior. And <laughs> the guys love having women on oh, the boat. Yeah, we, yeah, we love kids it. Kids and women. It just it just is a game changer for yeah. the whole atmosphere. So yeah, Rosie, you should come fishing. Those guys will take really good care of you. Yeah, for sure. And most of your state rooms are like two person state rooms, right? They are, but on these shorter trips, we can triple people up so she. Okay. Could have a room, and there's lots of we'll have if we have another. So if there's woman. only one single wo- one woman, you can put her in her own room. Well, yeah, I'll make it work. Wow, no, cool. she just does that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, we're gonna be right Thanks back. So on, let's talk hookup, man. Having so much fun, and man, just uh, a good time here. And we'll be right back on Let's Talk Hookup, the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. The sport shows are coming, and it's the best time to buy that new boat you've always wanted. Rock Cod Rick here to remind you that West Coast Marine and Parker Boats will be at the PCS show, as well as the Bart Hall Long Beat show, this year showing off some of their most popular models of Parker Boats and Yamaha Outboards. Kevin Kelly is certainly responsible for putting hundreds of anglers and their parkers at the shows and at their Costa Mesa location of West Coast Marine. Carrying on the tradition that our friend Kevin Kelly did so well is his nephew Nick Kelly at their shop on Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa. 
Kevin was a fixture at the shows for many years and will be missed by all, but you can be assured that Nick will do everything possible to carry out Kevin's tradition of taking care of his customers and getting them in the right boat, outfitted the way you want. Nick will have several Yamaha-powered Parker boats at the show available for you to check out. Be sure to go by the West Coast Marine booth at the PCS show and the Bart Hall Long Beach show, or stop by their Costa Mesa location and share your memories of Kevin with Nick. Check westcoastmarine.com. It's Ford Truck Month, San Diego. Time to get up and get into a new Ford F-150. Part of the F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 46 years straight. And here's some big news. There's a great selection of Ford F-150s in stock and ready for delivery today. So visit your San Diego County Ford dealer and see all the fantastic offers on America's best-selling trucks that are available during Truck Month. They'll be glad to hook you up. The PCS show is coming, and we will have our first-ever booth at the show. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Check us out in the all-new saltwater building at the PCS show in Costa Mesa, where we will have some amazing deals for you on rods, reels, lures, and clothing. Everything at the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth will be on sale. And as always, our expert staff will help you select that perfect setup for the fish you want to pursue. For saltwater tackle at the PCS show, your best stuff is the Fisherman's Landing Tackle Booth. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Wait for it. Wait for it. The Bart Hall Show at the Long Beach Convention Center, March 29th to April 2nd, known as the granddaddy of them all. All outdoor recreation events since 1946 have been based on this historical show. Join us as we celebrate 75 years of assembling more fishing tackle, boats, marine accessories, quality hunting and fishing lodges, overland displays, and unique outdoor recreation stuff than any other show in California. Kids under 16 free. A full day of family fun. The Kids Fish Free Trout Pond. The Ultimate Air Dogs, the Great American Duck Races, Paul Bunyan's Lumberjack Show, Archery, Air Gun Ranges, Axe Throwing, Fly Fishing, hundreds of seminars, and so much more. Thanks to our sponsors, Progressive, Accurate, Okuma, Daiwa, Shimano, Fisherman's Landing, Mammoth Lakes, Convict Lake Resort, Costa, Hobie, Rancho Leonero, and Turner's Outdoorsman. The Bart Hall Show, March 29th to April 2nd at the Long Beach Convention Center. Go to hallshows.com. That's hallshows.com. When you want dependable service for your outboard or a new or used boat, your first choice should be h h Marine at their new location, near where the 5 and 805 freeway meets. North County, Central, or South, the new h h Marine is near you. They also have added an amazing lineup of boats for both fishing and pleasure cruising, like Barletta and Godfrey pontoon boats and hurricane runabouts, all on display. Defiance fishing boats and many used boats are available, too, along with Yamaha and Mercury outboard cells and service. Speaking of service, Jeff and his crew have you covered. As a factory-authorized Yamaha and Mercury Service Center, H&H Marine will be sure the job is done right. They have Blue Water Bay Tech, both cells and expert installation, as well as Tachycat Inflatables, the perfect tender for your boat. For outboard cells and service, pontoon boats, fishing boats, and bay tank systems, check out H&H Marine at their new location, 10685 Roselle Street in San Diego. Check out hhmarinesd.com. 